We begin with an attempted robbery caught on camera in Ashboro. Take a closer look at that and you look at that red circle. A gun pointed at employees at a car service shop. And then the criminal jumps through the service window. WFMY News 2's Giselle Thomas spoke to one of the workers who said the experience shocked him. Now we spoke to one of the employees held up at the shop and due to safety concerns, we are not revealing his identity. Once I heard the chime, I just looked up and um, I seen a guy just walk in, you know, he had to had to pull up mask and um, a hood on his head with some type of some type of satchel. Um, he walked in. He, I, I first thing I noticed was the gun in his hand. Scary video shows a stick up at gunpoint at an auto shop on East Dixie Drive in Ashboro. An employee says the burglar insisted they show him something they didn't have. Walked up to me with the gun pointed at me it was like, um, where's the safe? And I'm like, what safe? Like, what are you talking about? He's like, somebody sent me. Where's the safe? I worked at Strickland Brothers and I worked at Valvoline. I was there um, prior to Strickland Brothers. So as far as I'm aware, there's never been any type of safe. The worker says the burglar stressed that somebody told him there was a safe. He keeps pointing the gun at me. So I'm like, OK, well, look, you want to come look yourself? So I, I back up. I'm like, look, you could come look yourself. Like, it's no safe in here. And he's like, all right, I'm going to jump the counter. In the video, you can see the burglar looking through two pouches. We got two little pouches, one for the deposits and one for the, the, the money we keep in the drawer. In total, the worker says there was roughly $1,000 in the pouches. For five minutes, the suspect kept sifting through them. He, he go in his pouch a couple times, like debating if he going to take the money or not. And then he take the money out and hand it right back to me. The worker says he's happy to be alive. I'm glad. I'm just glad that's what happened. You know, it wasn't nothing else, nothing more to it. Although nothing was taken, Ashboro police say that they are investigating the crime as assault by pointing a gun and attempted robbery with a dangerous weapon.